having the call control to kind of uh, direct the people. So they want to know how much it costs. It's going to cost to get a dog robot. And you want to know what is your name and what is your email address? How did you hear from me? Uh, what's the background in your in your uh, company or your personal interest in domestic pet robots, you know, et cetera, getting all the questions that you need answered. As soon as you give them the call for a dog robot, the guy's the guy has no reason to stay on the call with you anymore. Right? Oh, he's got interesting. The, he's got the line item for his presentation to his buddies at the HOA. Guys, we gotta throw our money and get a fucking dog robot. Um, right? As soon as you and we can send like, it to anyone, it doesn't matter if it's SKA or not. Correct. This is what Correct. they cost. We would deal with this because so what was cool about the call center was that we only, I mean, almost almost entirely dealing with irate customers. At the very least, you're dealing with customers that are so off-putting that their clients or that the people that they're calling would rather pay us a buck twenty a minute to take the calls for them. <laughs> right? You're not fucking, oh Bill, how's it going? You know, how are the kids? It's like fucking people with problems. That's interesting. Right? And so, so by having the call control, understanding they want to talk to the doctor, it's like, great, let me just get a little bit of information and we'll see what we can do. And then anytime, anything that they want to fucking balk at in the process, it's like, well, you said you wanted to talk to the doctor. I'm just trying to help you get what you want. Oh, that's you interesting. Know? So it's not, it's always about trying, well, as soon as they tell you what they want, now you're just doing everything in service of that, including you know, getting the contract signed, getting them to put the deposit down, all the different, you know, processes. Once once you've got it locked in what it is they're going for. And then um, I'll say the thing that she taught me, I, I rarely have to use it anymore. But the phrase she taught us was uh, when somebody's getting pissed off at you or they're, they're angry, you know, to go back to like the irate customer, you know, thing. Um, you say, what I can do is help you as best that I can in this situation. But what I can't do is have you speak to me in that tone any longer. I mean, you you but you have to bust that out to somebody. <laughs> it's an amazing thing. They will just melt. Like I'm really sorry, dude. Like none of this matters. You know. I'm, you know. Blah blah blah. That's amazing. Uh, but yeah, it's a great line. 